Here's a quick list of the tools or items that you may need when doing an oil change. Um, I'll explain how much this costs and how many items you may want to use. These are not everything you need to use. Some of it is optional, but uh, I'll start with this. If you're going to do an oil change, get some car ramps. You just drive your car up on it and uh, you just have so much room. Likewise, you could, if you want, you don't have to use car ramps, you could use the jack, but this is just easier and, and I believe you can get a lot better clearance and it's quicker in my opinion. The other thing is because you're going under a car to change your car, you must have jack stands. It's for safety purposes, so you're gonna need that. You'll need a, uh, like a flashlight, a high powered flashlight, just of course so you can see under there. Next thing you'll need are some gloves, obviously, because you're gonna be touching oil and um, that will make sure you don't, uh, you get a good grip on everything. Goggles as well, torque wrench. Torque wrench is very helpful, uh, more so when you're uh, actually putting the drain plug back on, as well as you know, got a ratchet, same thing, wrench, um, sockets, so you can obviously take the drain plug off. If you're having difficulties getting the drain plug off, of course you can always use a breaker bar, and it's good to then also use, with that, some um, PB Blaster or WD-40. Shop towels helps, just because, well, it's oil, it's a messy job, so you, you never know when that could help. Uh, of course, now, moving on to actually doing the job, uh, you're gonna, uh, I should also mention some cardboard, or, or a creeper, that helps as well. Uh, something I didn't include in here is a drain plug, or a gasket, to put the drain plug back on. Sometimes they don't last as long, so you can put that on. But anyway, um, the other thing is a filter, oil filter wrench. You need that, obviously, too, and there's a few kinds you can use. Um, and uh, you need that just so you can pull off the uh, oil filter. And obviously, an oil pan to collect the oil. And of course, this is optional if you choose to use it, if your engine's not good. If it's like a lot of sludge in there or whatever, you can use that before. You drain the oil, of course, and then, of course, you need some really good oil for your car, as well as the oil filter, and you'll use that to pour in the funnel. And then when you're done, you're just gonna take the oil and put it in the empty jug and recycle it. So, everything I have right here, I kind of listed it in the order you would uh, drive your car up, put the jack on, put the jacks in order, flashlight so you can see better, gloves, glasses, then you can actually start working on the vehicle, and that would be taking the uh, drain plug off uh, with the uh, uh, ratchet and the socket, maybe you need a blaster bar or some oil, clean it off if you need to, and then um, the oil will go in here, of course, and then if you need to take the filter off, you lose one of the wrenches, and uh, then after that, you'll put uh, oil in the car, and, uh, and then at the end, you'll put the oil in the jug. The only thing I didn't mention was you would put this in before you drain the oil. Now I'm gonna say how much everything costs. Uh, me, these ramps cost about $40, $50. The jack with the stands is about $100. Flashlight, you know, five bucks. Gloves, uh, a few bucks. Goggles, a couple dollars. Torque wrench, there's many torque wrenches you can get, but this will, this one cost me 20 bucks. But, I mean, they run in various prices and sizes and that kind of stuff. Socket set, $10. Ratchet, another five. Breaker bar, another about five, 10 bucks. Uh, the oil, is about five dollars for each one. Shop towels, I paid a few bucks for that. Oil filter wrench, uh, usually around ten dollars you can get it for. Oil pan, a few bucks. Um, engine oil, if you need it, is about um, about five dollars, maybe ten. Oil, of course, prices vary uh, big time, but I paid about forty bucks for, for this. Uh, ten dollars for the filter and uh, funnels, a couple bucks, and an empty jug. And that's pretty much it. So this comes to a total price of about 200 to 250 dollars is how much you'll spend. I know that sounds like a lot, but keep in mind some of these tools you probably already have. Some of this is a really good investment. Um, and the the other thing is you'll ultimately be saving more money in the future because if you have all of these tools right here then the odds are you're probably only gonna have to buy, what, maybe the oil? And that will cost about 40 or 
$50 max or for even a couple other extra supplies that you might need. So it's a very, it might seem expensive in the beginning, but if, if you're the one who's doing the oil, it's hell of a lot cheaper than taking it to a mechanic to, to do your oil every six months or so. So here's a list of 20 items that you may need. Please let me know if there's anything else I missed or that you might use that might help. Thank you, and I hope this quick list will help as a reference guide next time when you change your oil. Thank you. Enjoy. Bye.